Hello, my name is Chris and today I'd like to share another quick five minute quit smoking tip which is to play the movie through to the end and tell yourself the real honest story about what's going to happen if you smoke that cigarette that you're thinking of smoking whilst trying to quit. This is something that I used personally when I was quitting smoking and it was such a tremendous help to me was to stop when I was in that mindset when a craving or just the, the urge to smoke was all consuming. Those times when my veins were rattling, my skin was itching and my head was in bits because I just couldn't focus on anything else other than I want to have a cigarette. And the story, the first story that I would tell myself would be, I feel really bad right now and I don't like this. And if I just have that one cigarette, that's what I tell myself, just have that one cigarette, then I'll be okay. Then I can start to focus. Then I can start again with my quit and everything's going to be all right. And that's kind of what I would tell myself, right? When the truth of the matter is, if I played that movie through and I looked not just to the cigarette, because, you know, it's easy to play that movie and have it end with the cigarette and go, okay, everything's all right. But the actual story, the actual movie goes beyond the cigarette to how I feel afterwards. And for me, it would be a case of, I told myself I was going to have this one cigarette and then everything would be okay. And actually, it's not okay because now I feel bad. Now I'm wracked with guilt, shame and remorse. Now I'm kicking my own ass over having this cigarette. I've picked up that big stick and I'm going, God, that was dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and whether I feel that or not, it also leads me to this point of, well, I've had one cigarette now. I might as well just keep smoking for today, prolong my own misery even longer and then start again tomorrow. Knowing that if I do that, then tomorrow I've got to go through this whole process over again and at some point I'm going to reach the exact same point probably where it's all consuming and it's on me, you know, and now I've got proof that if I have this cigarette, everything's not going to be okay. So I don't want to have to start again. I don't want to have to go through this awful, all-consuming thing any more than I have to. And of course I get it. When it is on us, it is very difficult to concentrate. It is very difficult to make any kind of decision, let alone a smart, healthy one, about not having the cigarette. Which is why when I would find it completely on me, I would have to stop and just go, okay, I'm thinking, re I'm really, really seriously considering having a cigarette and I recognize this and I'm paying attention to my own thoughts. This means that now I can stop, I can... Take a deep breath and I can say, Chris, be honest with yourself. What's going to happen if you have that cigarette? You've said everything's going to be okay and then you can start again, but you know everything's not going to be okay. You might get a minute or two of relief from this all-consuming craving, but then you're going to feel bad. You're not going to want it. You know, you're not going to enjoy that moment. There's nothing good that's going to come from having this cigarette. So go and do something else instead. And I'm not saying that this necessarily gets rid of the craving. Like, okay, yeah, it's going to be bad if I have this cigarette. Ah, I suddenly feel so much better. What it does is divert the attention away from smoking and towards better, more helpful, more healthy ways of dealing with what's going on. It's like if a cigarette is there and I'm here, I'm going to go up this straight line and I'm going to divert to a cigarette if I don't tell myself you know, the true, honest story about what's gonna happen. Whereas if I do tell myself this true, honest story, what I can do is I can start to go that way and go, I'm not gonna have the cigarette, I'm gonna veer off this way, I'm gonna go and do some physical activity, I'm gonna dance, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna do some exercise, I'm gonna phone a friend, I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna go and take a bath, I'm gonna do one of the infinite number of things that is gonna help me far more than any cigarette ever could. So it's not necessarily a technique that gets rid of the craving, it's a technique that helps me get rid of this, to be honest, bullshit lie that a cigarette's going to be any good for me and takes me towards doing something good that is going to help me in a much more positive way. 
I hope that has been helpful for you. I hope it's given you at least something to think about or even just stopped you from having a cigarette for the last five minutes. If you would like more quit smoking tips, support, advice from me, I crammed a load of them into this book that I wrote. It's called Quit Smoking and Be Happy. It is available in print and ebook form from Amazon.com. As you can see, I've used this copy many times. It's all dog eared now. If you do have the book and you've enjoyed it and you've found it helpful, please do consider leaving me a review on Amazon. That is honestly one of the best ways that you can support me in the work that I do. Speaking of support, I do offer a one-to-one -one quit smoking support program, which is based on my experiences as a, quit smo as a person who has quit smoking, as a therapist, and as a smoking cessation support practitioner. For all the information on that, you can go to cjstherapy.com, click on services, click stop smoking support, and everything you could possibly need to know is right there. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your support. I will see you next time. Goodbye.